Hello and welcome back to another tutorial in this logical reasoning lecture series. This time the problem is about the rank secured by 8 students in a competition. So it's basically a tabular arrangement problem only. Let's go to the question now. The problem here mentions 8 students who have bagged the top 8 ranks in an inter-school debate competition. These students belong to 3 different schools of the city. Now with the help of the 10 statements given in the problem, we need to find out their exact ranks and the schools in which they study. I'll advise you to pause the video here and attempt the question on your own first. Go to the solution only when you are done attempting the question on your own. The first step to solving this problem would be to create a table like this. The three columns here would contain the ranks, names and schools in that order. The first thing we do here is to put ranks 1 through 8 in the first column. Now let's move to the statements to start filling the table. The first statement that you would use here would be statement 7. It tells us that Jia got rank 2. So let's put Jia's name against rank 2. The next statement we would use would be statement 9. It tells us that Myra got rank 4 and that she studies in APS. So let's put Myra and APS against rank 4. These two statements gave us very simple straightforward pieces of data which we could put in the table very easily. Now we will look at statements that are slightly more complicated. Statement 5 tells us that Riya's rank is better than that of both Ira and Sana but it's worse than that of both Myra and Kavya. So let's write something like this. Ria is better than Sana and Ira. So let's denote it by this greater than sign. It means Ria's rank is better than that of both Sana and Ira. Now the statement says that Myra's rank is better than that of Ria. So if we have to put that in this arrangement, it would look something like this. So Myra first, then Ria, and then Sana and Ira. I hope this order is clear. We have written Sana, comma, Ira because we still haven't figured out who among the two got a better rank. Now just concentrate on this part, Rhea, Sana and Ira. Since Myra is at number 4 in the table, can we say that these three girls would be below Myra and would lie in this region from 5 to 8? Yes, they have to. So let's keep it like that and move forward. Look at statement 8 now. It says that Tanya's rank is worse than that of Sana but better than that of Ira. So let's put it in our notation. It means that Sana is above Tanya. But since Tanya is better than Ira, let's add this. So it becomes Sana first, then Tanya and then Ira. Now look at this part in our earlier arrangement, just about Sana and Ira. And look at this one, Sana, Tanya and Ira. We can say that Tanya would be fitted between Sana and Ira. So the earlier order that was Ria, Sana, Ira would now become Ria, Sana, Tanya and Ira. And these four would be fitted into the highlighted cells in the table and in this order only. So let's put them there. I hope this is understood. Now let's move forward and look at statement 2. This is a simple one. It says that Jia's rank is better than that of Kavya. It's obvious now that Jia and Kavya would have to be fitted in these two boxes only. So Jia is already there and Kavya is placed at number 3 now. Now look at this cell in the second column. It is the only one left now in this column. And the only student whose name is still not there on the table is Charvi. So we need to put Charvi's name in this cell. Let's look at statement 4 now. It tells us that Sana studies in APS. This is the cell corresponding to school against Sana's name. So let's put APS there. The next statement we use would be statement 6. It tells us that Tanya studies neither in KCM nor in VLP. In other words, they are telling us that Tanya studies in APS. So let's highlight Tanya's school cell and fill it up with APS. The next statement is statement 1. 
it says that the girl who gets rank 1 does not study in VLP. Now this is the cell which we need to fill. This is rank 1 which is Charvi. We were told in the problem that exactly 3 of these 8 girls study in APS. But all 3 have already been filled at rank 4, 6 and 7 as you can see in the table. So all 3 APS cells are already occupied. And since rank 1 does not study in VLP, the only option left with us now is KCM. So let's fill this cell with KCM and move forward. Please realize that now onwards it would either be KCM or VLP since APS is exhausted. Let's look at statement 3 now. The girl who gets rank 8 does not study in KCM. It means it has to be VLP only. This is the cell we are talking about. Let's fill it up with VLP. Look at statement 10 now. It tells us that Kavya does not study in VLP. It means that Kavya must be studying in KCM. This is Kavya's school cell highlighted now. Let's fill it up with KCM. Now let's use statement 7. It tells us that Jia does not study in KCM. This is the cell that we are talking about against Jia's name. Since she does not study in KCM, she would be a student of VLP. So let's put VLP here and move forward. Now this is the last cell of this table left. It was given in the problem statement that there are 3 students from KCM. But we can see KCM written here only 2 times at rank 1 and rank 3. So it's obvious now that rank 5 that is this cell would also be a KCM student. So let's put KCM there and with this we complete our table. I think we could manage this one fairly easily. Our next problem would be again on tabular arrangement but with much more data which would make it slightly more complicated. So I'll wind up this tutorial now. I'll see you soon. Goodbye until then.